Yeah, when I was about seven years old, we moved into a, a house that was built in 1903. And uh, I'd only just learned to read. I was probably seven or eight. And um, remember, there's so much wallpaper, about five layers of wallpaper, and the house didn't look like it had ever been decorated from scratch. It was just uh, layers upon layers of paint, layers upon layers of really old-fashioned wallpaper. So being a great cook, we started in the kitchen, and my job was to scrape the paper. You know, we didn't have any little jobs like putting the trash out in those days. It was, you know, spend a week doing this in your school holidays stripping wallpaper and uh stripping the main wall in the kitchen about five layers of wallpaper a phrase started to emerge written in builder's paper presumably in 1903 the plaster was coming off a bit because it was the old plaster they had with the uh, horse hair in it to bind it together this is a modern equivalent of carbon fiber in the building trade but they had to do something with all the horse from all the knackers yards all the horse hair Anyway, I uncovered this thing bit by bit and it was written in big bold characters in a lead pencil and when we finally uh, uh, exposed it, it says, um, there's too many shit stirrers and not enough paint stirrers, all spelt wrong by some decorator or somebody, a painter, back in the day. So I thought, well, yeah, well, I've got these tins of paint which my wife has been buying over the years and never used. And they are, so they're sitting in the garage. I thought, well, I'll just use them, but they've all sunk to the bottom, all the pigments down here. And I thought, what can I do to stir it up? I'm not going down the builder's yard. And I suddenly remember, my son's got a drone which he flies around and crashes all the time. And if he doesn't hit the kill switch by the time he hits something, he um, propellers get bent, like this one. Can you see that? It's got a slightly, it's not quite 120, 120, 120. It's a modified version. But the motors are very powerful, and as soon as they've got a kink in them, but they're nice and they're about 50p each. I thought that would make a perfect paint stirrer. So I'm going to go and make a paint stirrer out of this and put it in my drill and see what does, see what happens. I'll be back in a moment. Ah, oh, back again. So, uh, ta 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 drum roll. There she blows. It's the new Acme paint and paint stirring device. The drone propeller. A six millimeter coach bolt with the end cut off, and the screw fix Titan lithium electric drill so we've got all the technology now so it's, i think it's going to be a bit big so next time um this is quite an expensive phone so i don't want to get this splattered in paint but i'll do my best at um i'll have a go with it and then we'll see what it does shall we but it could get messy i'm warning you but right, here we go so gonna do it in you in she goes clockwise or anti-clockwise Ooh. Ooh, get some thrust. Cool, I've got some real thrust here. It's, um, the moment it's driving the whoa, paint down. It's a levitating drill. I, mean, I guess it's best this way, because otherwise it will suck the drill in and the bolt's not quite long enough. Ooh. Haha, <laughs> it's working. A score pre paint stirrer. Don't you wish you had one the same? Yes, you do, don't you? Admit it. There we go. Lovely, jubbly, lovely job. Actually, quite controllable. Ooh, it's getting a bit out of hand. There you go, I'm going to put this down. See, and it automatically stands. It's an auto draining, auto draining on a two and a half litre pot paint stirrer. Look at that. You can just rotate it around slowly. I'm not going to do it electrically because it's going to go all over the place and just let it drain off your stirring stick. How about that? Free paint stirrer. You saw it here first on Magic Smoke. <laughs> your life will never be the same.